What's up future respiratory therapists? Hey, in this video, we're continuing with pharmacology formulas. We're talking about the percent strength formula. It's gonna get a little more difficult. Bear with me here. We're gonna break it down. Let's dive in. All right, so in this video, as I stated, we're talking about the percent strength formula. Here's what it looks like. Percent strength equals dose divided by amount given. Now, this is going to be give you an indication of the strength of the medication that you're delivering. Not so much the dosage, because if you add more dilution to a dose, you will reduce the percent strength. If you add less dilution to a dose of medication, then you will increase the strength of that medication. And that's what this formula is all about. So let's look at it. Let's look at a, a practice scenario here. You deliver a 3 ml unit dose of 2.5 milligrams of albuterol. What is the percent strength? Now, let's go back here and look at the formula. Remember, the formula is percent strength equals dose over amount. Now let's go back to the scenario here real quick. What you should be doing right now is identifying, okay, of that formula, what values do I have? And when you do so, you will look at this, you go, okay, you're delivering three mLs of a unit dose. So, you do, but, but that unit dose is three milliliters. That's going to be your amount. And the dose is 2.5 milligrams. That's gonna be your dose. Now you have your dose and you have your amount, now we can calculate the percent strength. So we go back to the formula here. We know the formula, and we just now have to plug in our values. 2.5 milligrams over 3 milliliters. Now, something's not right here. Let's go back and look at the formula one more time. You see, when I said dose right here, I also, in parentheses, said that this dose needs to be stated in grams. See, when we look at what we know, we know we're talking about 2.5 milligrams. So the first thing you have to do and the thing you have to always remember about this formula is that you have to turn that milligrams into grams. So what we're really saying here, and this is going to become X, this is what we're solving for, right? So X equals 2.5 milligrams. Well, if we divide that by 1,000, we'll get 0 0.0025 grams divided by 3 milliliters. Now, when we do the math for that, what we get here is 0 0.0025 divided by 3. This is going, this means that X equals point zero 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 eight three and this three continues on so it's point zero 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 eight three now that's your percent strength but it's not in a percentage yet because it's still in a decimal form so we know to turn this into a to a percentage we just have to move this two spots so the answer here is point zero eight three percent and that's the answer. When you deliver 2.5 milligrams in a three milliliter solution, you are administering a percent strength of albuterol of 0.083%. Now you don't have to believe me on this. You can just go back to one of these, which is a unit dose of albuterol. And I believe that most of us are familiar with this. I know you can't see this, but next time you deliver one of these, look at the very top of it. It says albuterol solution inhalation Albuterol sulfate inhalation solution, 0.083%. That's the percent strength of this unit dose. Why? Because it is 2.5 milligrams of albuterol in a three milliliter solution. That's what that is and that's what it means. You're working with this all the time. We just don't always recognize it. Let's look at another solution, another question here. All right, so when we look at this example, we see that the question changes a little bit. See, this question says you deliver five milliliters 
of 10% strength acetylcysteine. Now, wait a second. What is acetylcysteine? Pause this video. Think about it. The brand name of the generic name of acetylcysteine is, we know, is mucomist. How many milligrams did you deliver? Well, let's do the math and we'll see. This is the formula that we need. We need the percent strength equals dose over amount. Go back to the scenario. You deliver five milliliters. This right here is your amount of a 10% strength acetylcysteine. So now we have the strength. And we know the amount, but the question is asking how many milligrams did you deliver? So we go back and we say, okay, we know the formula now. So now we know that we are working with a 10% strength. We don't know the milligrams. That's the question. But we gave five milliliters of the 10% strength. So how many milligrams did we deliver of this acetylcysteine? Now, the other thing you have to remember when doing this formula is, is that this percentage needs to be changed into a decimal. So we know to do that, we simply just need to turn this into a decimal. 10% is 0.1 equals X over five milliliters. So now we just solve for X. We're going to go 0.1 equals x over 5. We're going to multiply both of these sides by 5. That's going to cancel this out. And we're going to multiply the percent strength side by 5. This means that we have 0.5 equals x. Now, remember that this formula gives you this number in grams. So now to figure out how many milligrams we've given, we just simply have to turn grams into milligrams. So we just have to multiply this times a thousand. 0.5 times a thousand is 500 milligrams. And that's how much we delivered in this scenario. Five mLs of 10% mucomist equals the delivery of 500 milligrams. And that's the percent strength formula. That's what it looks like. That's what it is. I want to remind you to go to my respiratory coach resources page, my course. It's here. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up for it. You will get access to a variety of cheat sheets and resources that are meant to aid you along your journey to becoming a registered respiratory therapist. Don't forget to sign up for that course. Be sure and look in the video description below for a link for access to that course. That's the percent strength formula. This is where you can find me, all the socials, at Respiratory Coach, Instagram, TikTok, on Twitter, at Coach RRT, and on Gmail, RespiratoryCoach, at gmail.com. Don't ever hesitate to send me any questions. I will respond it may not be as quick as you wish, but I will respond, I promise you. And I'm going to ask you to join my texting platform right now. Send me a text to 817-968-7035. This is a texting platform where I send out occasional inspirational, educational, motivational content just to further connect with this great profession of respiratory therapist. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on all bell notifications so you know when I post another video. Hit the like and leave me a comment. I would love to see your interaction with this video so that I can respond and we can continue um, connecting this great field. Remember, average is easy. Don't be it.